Hey guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench and this evening we're going to be doing another reassembly service here on a pen spin fisher. All right, so we're looking at a 550 SS, all right, second generation skirted spool spin fisher. All right, this reel, you know, it's in pretty good shape. I don't think it was really fished a lot actually. I recently picked it up with another reel that has a, a problem. Uh, the big problem with this one was is it was really hard to turn. It was a little sluggish, and uh, you know it, it it was just in need of a cleaning. And so that's what we've done is we've taken all these these pieces apart. I did that in a separate video. Uh, we've been cleaning up uh, right now. You know, just cleaning out all these old old uh, all the old grease out of the gear teeth here. Taking some Q tips and just uh, you know. Uh, being thorough about it, using toothbrushes to clean out those gear teeth. A little bit of WD-40. Okay, uh, we've also been soaking our our ball bearings and some WD-40 in this little cup right here. I'm gonna get into that in just a second. Okay, so uh, you know basically, uh, you know we've we've gone through our inner housing here. We sprayed some WD-40 in there and just cleaned out all the old residual grease there as well. Okay, so now we're going to start with some basics here. We're going to pull a bearing out. The, all three of these bearings are the same size. Just going to let those others soak in there for a little while. Okay, we've got some old residual grease on here. It's not too big of a deal. All right, these bearings are in pretty good shape, right? They're pretty smooth. Uh, so I don't think there's any real need to... Uh, take them apart. These are actually, in fact, serviceable bearings, and you can uh, take the uh, the shield off. I've got separate videos on how to do that. Okay, but if you soak these in some WD-40, uh, you know, for an hour or two, uh, you know, it, it will work its way in there. Okay, and actually, now that I'm looking at this more carefully, the this uh, particular bearing, at least, this is not really a what we would call a serviceable bearing. Uh, these shields uh, don't come out without damaging them now that I'm looking more carefully. Okay, uh, I was working on another spin fisher recently uh, that was not like that, and it had uh, some other uh, ball bearings in it that you can actually take the snap ring out. Okay, you can certainly service the bearing, but you're going to bust the shield in the process, and that's not, that's not really what I would recommend. Okay, unless it's completely busted. If you run your finger through here and it's rough, okay, well then that, that warrants uh, some attention. Okay, but this one I think will be just fine. All right, so uh, we've got our pinion gear, right? We've cleaned that up really nice, nice and well. Okay, so we're going to slap the bearing on here, down here at the base. Okay, and while we're at it, we're just going to take a little bit of real oil to that and that's going to work its way in there and we're just going to add a little bit to the outside okay and that's going to prevent any any rust damage that may build up in the process okay we're going to set that back down in place okay and we're also going to take some pen blue grease okay you can do this while this is out or in right but you want to get some blue grease on those teeth On the pinion gear teeth, like so. Okay. We've got a collar that's going to go back on, on top here, like so. And then this collar here. And I don't mind just doing a little bead of oil on those threads right there for these two set screws. Just get these started here, hopefully. These screws can be a real headache sometimes. Yeah, these these high speed uh, spin fishers are they're kind of sought after now. I think uh, there's not a lot of them out there. Parts are not really in an abundance. 
I would think it's uh, it's becoming harder and harder to to come across parts for these. Just going to give those a couple of light turns, like so. Okay. Another thing we're going to do real quick. Let's see, there's some extra residual grease hiding out here. We want to get all that old grease out as much as we can. Okay. And while we're here, it doesn't hurt just to do a little bit of oil under this, this roller lever right here. Okay. Now, the next pieces are here. All right, so this is a friction clutch mechanism, as we call it, with a ratchet. Okay, and this is part of the anti-reverse system, all right? And the, this is probably one of the most complicated parts about the whole reel and also has a tendency to wear, right? So there's these brake fins here, these friction fins, okay, that attach to that ratchet, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to set this in place, and these are meant to go on dry. You do not want to lubricate these parts with grease or oil or anything like that, okay? Just put them on dry, Okay, and then you line up these holes here, and then you've got this brass screw that's meant to go back in that hole there. And sometimes you kind of have to move this this dog and friction clutch, if you will, around just a little bit just to get this to seat just right. The screw. A little turn there. Okay. All right, so this is how it works. Okay, and the thinking is, is this is the anti-reverse and it can't turn Okay, when it's engaged like that, but then when you throw the lever, the anti-reverse lever, that trips that lever on the dog, and then it can move freely, like so. All right, it's a little difficult to see, but you can see it turning there, okay? And then you throw it back, and then it's supposed to engage and lock like that, okay? Now, I, I recently uh, worked on a, a smaller version of this same reel where these parts are worn out, and they probably need to be replaced, not all these parts are that easy to come by, so that's just something you want to make note of, okay? If you're if you're working uh, on really any of these reels, parts are just becoming more and more obsolete, and that's just a, a thing right now, okay, at this point. All right, so now we're going to get into the rest of the reel here. Uh, we can put our rotor back on, actually, at this point, so we'll do that next. And rotor nut. And I can't remember, I seem to recall that this, this reel may have had a problem with the anti-reverse also, but it could just be that it, uh, it had some, it had something caught up on the on the fins or something like that that made it slip or something. I don't recall. It seems to be working okay at the moment, I think. But we're gonna find out before long. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get into the rest of our parts here. Okay, so we're gonna take some, some Pen Precision Blue Grease appropriate for this reel. And we're gonna put some down here. Okay, where this cross wind gear is gonna go. We're also gonna put some on the gear itself, on the gear teeth. All 
And we're going to let that work its way in there. Put a little bit on top as well. Okay. And then we've got a crosswind block. We've cleaned this out uh, with a, a Q-tip. Get all that old residual grease out of there. Okay, we're just going to go back over this piece with a little bit of blue grease there and put that at the base. All right, this grease is designed to, you know, lubricate these parts and it'll find its way into the crevices of all the teeth and, you know, all that, you know, as the real, you know, functions as long as, you know, you're putting it in the appropriate places. Okay, all right, now before we get too far along, we don't want to forget we've also got a bearing to pop back in underneath and that's actually something I should have done before but that's okay we can get it in there without having to reinvent the wheel okay so this bearing is in pretty good shape too and we're just gonna slide it back in from underneath here should be able to pop it in. For some reason, this one's being a little stubborn, but that's okay. We can work with that. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on this. As we do this, we'll snap right there, and we're going to put the cap back on underneath. Okay, that's all you really need to do there. Now we've got our our main gear and our drive shaft all right now you need to put the main gear back in first okay so we're going to load this up with some blue grease on these gear teeth fresh grease there and then put some on these gear teeth as well big old gob of it there you don't need to overdo it but you do want to get enough of it on there Okay, and we're going to slide that back in position like that. We're going to mesh up our gears like that. Now we've cleaned this shaft off with some 4.0 steel wool. Made it nice and smooth and clean. We're going to take that blue grease to the shaft here. And we're going to slide it back in such and we're going to line up our our flat block with the flat end on the shaft okay and then we've got a plate and two set screws that are going to go back on like so Sometimes those have a tendency to get caught up in there, like this one just did. And I'll try it again. Sometimes you need a lot of patience working on some of these reels. It's just necessary. Also, don't forget to put a little bead of oil on these threads as well. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of blue grease to the tip of the screwdriver, and that'll kind of hold the screw in place while you go to put it in the hole there. It's a good little trick.
Okay, same deal here. A little bit of grease. Tighten these up gently. You don't want to over tighten them. Okay, and then we're going to go in with the blue grease on the shaft right here. It'll find its way in there. And then we've got a bearing, final bearing that needs to come out. Okay, so next we're going to put our last bearing in place here on the top. A little bit of real oil there. And we're going to place this back on there like so. All right, and then we've got, we've got these three screws here. Just going to do a little bead of oil on those threads. That's going to help preserve the life of those threads. Tighten those up. And we're going to put our cap back on. Like so. Okay, and then for here, we're just going to make sure that we put a little bit of oil on the handle end right here. On the brass thread here as well. As well as those threads there. Okay. Spin that back on there. Also, a little bit of oil here. Nice old school bake light torpedo handle. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. All right, and then we also want to account for the parts here. You can do just a little bit of oil there, and then also here on the bale seam. Okay, I'm going to let that work its way in there. Okay, line roller seems to be working okay. I'm just going to splash it just with the tiniest little bit of WD-40, just for good measure. Let that find its way in there. Okay, now to finish off... We've got our, our spool. Okay, we're going to do a little, little bead of oil there. Okay, and then we have a drag stack. Nice, clean drag stack. Carbon fiber washers. And we're just going to use a little bit of Cal's star drag grease on these washers here, just the tiniest little bit. Make a nice little film on there, and that's going to help keep those intact. Metal washer goes next. Another drag washer. Some star drag grease. Hex washer. Drag washer. And metal washer. And then we've got our snap ring that goes back in there. Keeps all that together. Snap. 
Okay. I'm gonna throw that back on. And we're gonna give this a shot and we're gonna see how it performs. Okay, anti-reverse is working real solid as it should. Go back, nice and solid. Bale's firing really well. Okay, and we're just gonna check out the drag, make sure that's okay. Nice smooth drag on there. Make sure you back it off when you're not using the reel. And that's gonna preserve the life of that drag stack for a lot longer than you may anticipate. So there you have it. That is the Pen 550 Skirted Spool Edition Spin Fisher all uh, serviced up and ready to go. And thanks for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button. That way it will give you all the updates as to when there are new videos being posted, and I should have quite a few more coming out shortly, so make sure you stay tuned for those, and we'll see you next time.